Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 99 in Azure Data Factory playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to create alert rules in Azure Data Factory to monitor our pipeline runs or activity runs. So there is something called alert rules inside the monitor tab where we can create one alert rule and that alert rule send us notification. It can be email notification, it can be SMS notification, it can be any other notification. You can configure the notification type also. So how that mechanism is working is behind the scenes. Basically it is happening because of the Azure monitor. Okay. So whatever the alert rule you create inside data factory, that alert rule is same the same alert rule what did you create in the Azure monitor. Okay. So in Azure monitor also there is something called alert rules using which you can configure the alerts for any service. So now for ADF also we can do that instead of navigating to Azure monitor and configuring the alert rules you can directly configure from data factory also. Let me practically show you that so that you will make more sense of it. To create the alert rules as I said one way will be you can go to Azure monitor and you can do alerts configuration from there. I will show you if possible in our upcoming videos or directly go to this this menu which is monitor menu and go to this alerts and metrics menu there you can see creating new alert menu. So let me practically show you this and let me practically create one alert tool and show you how it actually works. So let's go to browser. So in my browser I have already opened my data factory and in this data factory there are some pipelines are there. So maybe let's assume if one some pipeline runs if that pipeline run failed in that case I want to get alerts. So to do that you can have a, a custom email I explained in our previous videos right to send an email alert whenever any failure happens in the pipeline. There I use logic app right. This is with the power of Azure monitor we can do it okay. So here you cannot control the format much actually but still I want to cover it so that you guys can understand what is this alerts and metrics in the, inside this monitor. So here you can click this new alert rule and here you can give name to your alert. So let's say this is new alert. Let it be the same name and you can set a CVRT also. So for this alert I want to set it as maybe save one. Okay. So then you have to mention the criteria. So please understand this while you are creating an alert you need to mention the criteria and after that you need to mention the notification criteria as well. So this is where we will be creating something called action groups also. Okay. So to get the notifications we have to create something called action groups. So that action group will contain the information whether it has to send a message to mobile number or whether it has to send email to some DL. So everything it will be configured there actually. So let me practically show you that. So let me click new alert rule and here let me set like CVRT1. I can give some description as well. Then here I am adding a criteria. So when you are adding a criteria for alert some predefined matrices will be there from which you have to create a criteria. So let's assume I want to send a alert whenever there is any failed pipeline execution in my data factory. So I can select it then click continue. So after that it will tell you so whether which pipeline run execution you are specifically monitor. So I want to monitor all the pipeline runs from my data factory. So let it be and then what type of failure you want to. So I want to monitor all type of failures. So you can select that then condition here you have to mention. So for example if total number of failures in my data factory is more than one because I am using here greater than one in total right. So that means in my data factory if there are pipeline run failures are more than one or more than zero you can mention anything then send me a alert and also like you are saying I want to have this condition to check whether the pipeline failures are more than zero or more than one or not right. So you need to define also like from which period. So in last five minutes you can you can mention here. So what I am mentioning in last five minutes go to monitors and go to see all the pipeline runs if there is any pipeline if the total number of see I am using total here right. So total number of pipeline failures are more than zero because I am using greater than then send me email alert and that check should happen every minute. So that's what I am configuring here. So I hope you got it right. I selected like I want to monitor pipeline failure runs and then I selected all the pipelines and failure types 
and then I said total pipeline failures more than or greater than zero in last five minutes. Then send an alert and make sure to check that every minute. So once you are done with the criteria, hit this add criteria button. See, we created alert room, alert room name we given. We set a severity. We set a criteria, and then here we have to configure the notification. So to create a config to configure a notification, you have to create an action group. So let me select like this is demo or email email action group. So that's what I'm giving name to it. You can mention some short name also, or you can copy paste the same thing also up to you. Okay. Then here you need to mention the notification type. So the notification type I want maybe email notification, and I want the email to come to my Outlook ID. So I'm entering my Outlook ID, Mahir Basha at the rate Outlook.com. So that's it. So once you are done with your notification configuration, click that Add Notification. So we added a notification also. Now click Add Action Group. Why? Because inside Action Group, we are adding a now configuration or we are configuring notification information. And then finally click this Add Action Group. That will create a action group with this notification information. So once the action group is created, after that you can actually complete your uh, rule creation, okay, alert rule creation. So there is one failure. Let me check what this failure is here. Okay, uh, let me retry to see the error once again. So I hit this add action group now. And let's wait for the failure to see here. Action group name is too long, okay. So we this short name should not be this long. So what I say, email action group, I will use this, okay. So now let me hit add to create this action group and see whether my action group will get created successfully or not. So it got created successfully. So I give an alert rule name. I set a criteria on which I want the alerts and I am setting the email configuration information using the action group and make sure you enable this rule creation. And once I hit create button, this rule will be created automatically even inside my Azure monitor. Why? Because this is only UI in the data factory for your convenience to create this alert rule. But all this alert rules future is from the Azure monitor service. I can practically show you that. You can see this is a new alert, right? So firstly, before showing that in the Azure monitor, let me go here and here, let me do one thing. Let me execute this pipeline to and let me, uh, so this pipeline to will always fail actually. I have some incorrect configuration there. So let's make sure this pipeline to fail multiple times and then we'll monitor whether we'll get email or not. So I executed once. So let me execute once again. So two times I executed. Now if I go to monitor tab, I should see under pipeline runs, I should see some failures. Let me refresh. Okay, you can see this is the latest failure. So all these are previous failures, okay? It will be not considered because we created just now and we mentioned check in last five minutes if there is any pipeline failures. So these two failures will should pop up in my error. Okay, that means error email should come because anyways, this is meeting the criteria. It is more than zero. So we should get that alert. So before checking that, before checking my email, let's go to here, let's go to home. And here, let's go to Azure Monitor. In Azure Monitor, if I go to Alerts, I should see the alert what I created. So let's let let me refresh here. Okay, I think I should go to Alert Rules. Under Alert Rules, I can monitor. See here the new alert, and I mentioned where the condition is pipeline fail runs is greater than uh, zero. Then this is the data factory in which it is scoping. That means this alert is running in this data factory. And uh, you can go inside a data factory, I mean inside this alert and you can see the action group name also. So email action group we created, right? See, see that means how that information, whatever I created here, how it came there. The, the reason is this UI, whatever you are seeing here, it is only for your convenience to create the Azure monitor alert rules. Basically, this is Azure monitor alert rule, which we usually create from here actually. So data factory team provided a easy way to create here itself. So now alert may be running. What we have to do, we have to wait for at least a few minutes uh, and then go to email box to see whether you, your alerts are getting triggered or not. Okay, so and you can see right now there is already one email which says my email ID is added into this action group. You can see that. So now let's wait for a couple of seconds and see whether we will get email or not. Okay, see, now we got an email and if you go here, 
it says like uh, azure monitor alert was triggered and for this alert new alert it triggered okay so let me zoom to show you and it gives the resource the alert id resource url also so this alert rule created this and uh, the alert is because of this data factory so in this resource the alert criteria met and because of that and also it says like how many pipeline failures happened in last five minutes and what is the criteria actually and everything you can see here right so like this you can create alert rules in azure data factory and then make use of the azure monitor to monitor your uh, executions and make sure if some criteria met if some metric met get a emails okay but you cannot customize the email body there actually it will be like a static content like that so that is the reason in real time only few people may use this not everyone people may think of some other alternative way where they can send custom emails like logic app which i explained in my previous videos so let's go back to our presentation i think that's it in this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much